Laissez be the name of our Lord. Hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord. The name of the Lord. Hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord, oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, blessed. Be the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord. We sing, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord. The name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. This morning, I would like us to read uh, some scriptures before we get into prayers. I want you to look at your Bible, Romans chapter 15. Romans chapter 15. I'm going to read from verse 1. It says, We who are strong ought to bear with the falling of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us should please our neighbors for their good, to build them up. For even Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. Everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through the endurance taught in the scripture, so that through the endurance taught in the scripture and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. God, endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind towards each other that Christ Jesus had. So that one mind and one voice, you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Accept one another then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to God, for I tell you that Christ has become a servant of the Jews on behalf of God's truth, so that the promises made to the patriarchs might be confirmed. And moreover, that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, therefore I will praise you among the Gentiles. I will sing the praises of your name. Again, it says, Rejoice, you Gentiles, with his people. And again, praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Let all the people extol him. And again, as I have said, the root of Jesse will spring up, one who will arise to rule over the nations. In him, the Gentiles will hope. May the God of hope Fill you with all joy.
joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I myself am convinced, my brothers and sisters, that you yourself are full of goodness, filled with knowledge, and competent to instruct one another. Yet, I am written you quite boldly on some points to remind you of them again because of the grace God gave you to be ministers of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles. He gave me the priestly duty to proclaim in the gospel of God so that the Gentiles might become an offering acceptable to God, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, I glory in Jesus Christ in my service to God. I will not venture to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me in leading the Gentiles to obey God by what I have said and done, by the power of signs and wonders, through the power of the Spirit of God. So from Jerusalem all the way around to Illyrium, to Lyric, to Illyricum, I have fully complained, proclaimed the gospel of Christ. It has always been my ambition to preach the gospel where Christ was not known, so that I will not be building on someone else's foundation. Rather, it is written, those who were not told about him will see, and those who have not heard will understand. This is why I have often been hindered from coming to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to speak about a few things. Number one is avoid competition. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Avoid competition, which is easier said than done. Avoid competition. Human beings are agents of competition. We compete a lot. But in the kingdom of God, it is not meant for us to compete. Because the Bible says that we are holy building. We are living stones for the building of God. So each stone has a place perfectly made that it will fit in. That building cannot be built by one stone. Hallelujah. Which means we are living stones. There are dead stones. We are alive. Of course, we all know that we are made from dust. When God said you are stone, he's not just talking about being made out of the dust, but he's talking about the informidable power, substance, that he has set in you to become one of the stones that the rejectors, that the builders have rejected, but now becoming the chief cornerstone. So he, you are one of the stones, not to compete, but to complete the building. Hallelujah. To complete the building. So he's telling us that you who think you are strong, who are strong, not think, he says, who are strong ought to bear with the falling of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us should please our neighbor for their good, to build them up. Hallelujah. For even Christ did not please himself. But it is written, the insult of those who insult you have fallen on me. God took Jesus Christ 
took all the insults just because he did not come for himself. He came for you and me. So shall it be. So it is expected that we should build one another. Don't tear them down. Don't be an agent of discord. There is nothing so terrifying than becoming an agent of discord, agent of separation, agent of discouragement. When people enter the church of God, you make sure that you are not the one that chased them out. Glory to God. Of course, the church of Jesus Christ is for everyone. But there are those who stand at the gate to ensure that people do not enter. And people do not have it easy when they come to church. So you see, people become so hysterical, so horrible to one another because they are not building them up. The Bible says, strive to please your neighbor, not yourself. That is the only way to expand the righteousness of God, by building one another, taking care of one another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't go and hold your head up as if it doesn't concern you. When, so, when you see that somebody is in trouble, find out how you could help. Hallelujah. Because trouble is not meant for only one person. And also, it revolves, as long as we are alive, trouble is mandatory. But it depends on the kind of the level of trouble. There's always trouble. Hallelujah. If nothing is happening, probably your car will break down. That becomes a trouble. Hallelujah. Somebody told a story one time. A brother who is a child of God, a man of God, and one time this lady or this sister who is also a child of God had her tire blown or the tire was not working well. Hallelujah. So he pleaded, she pleaded with the brother, please, can you give me a ride to church? Or can you give me a ride because my tire is not working well? The brother answered, we don't help people on a Saturday like this because, you know, they go to church on Saturday. They are from seven Adventists. And the sister struggled to get things done. After all, the tire was changed. Then the next morning, which is the other sister's turn to go to church because they go on Sunday. He's on tire blown, just like the other sister. Then she called. He called sister and said, please, my tire is blown. You know, the sister thought he was, you know, he was joking. He said, I don't know how to get around. I don't know if you're able to fix your car. He said, yes, I finally got someone to help me. The sister left everything to go help him, even though she's supposed to be heading to church. Now, the story is, you never know. We don't, as we said, we don't attract trouble. But we do things because we have the opportunity 
When you have the opportunity of helping your neighbor, do that. Even if that neighbor does not go to the same church with you, even if he's not a Christian, if you have the opportunity to help, do that. God, who is the rewarder of all those who diligently serve him, will reward you. So he's talking about you who are strong. Build one another. Help your sister. Help your brother. Help that neighbor if you can. When you have the opportunity, do that. Because you never know. The other brother, like the story I told, never knew that his own turn is coming the next day. It wasn't even next year, next month. It was the next day. Hallelujah. So I want you to understand that the kingdom that we profess is a kingdom of endurance kingdom of builders. You have to have the ministry of endurance, patience. Glory to God. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through the endurance taught in the scripture and the encouragement they provide, we may have hope. Hallelujah. Endurance And encouragement equal to hope. Hallelujah. They provide hope. All the scriptures and all the things you are going through, you are reading about Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Paul, Peter, all the things you are reading, they all sum up to teach endurance. They teach you patience. Hallelujah. They teach you patience. By also telling you that Abraham, after 100 years, was able to have children. It is his endurance. It's waiting on God. Don't take it for granted. Always pray, God. Help me to endure. Nothing is going to spoil. Nothing is going to go bad. Nothing is going to damage. As long as you stand in the will of God, He is the one that rolls the wheel. He moves the wheel around. He's the owner of the world. He turns it round until it gets to your turn. Jesus taught us a lesson. When he began to feed the disciples, 5,000 men, those who have stood with him, he said, these people have been with me for three days. It is not good to let them go home hungry. Oh, hallelujah. This is the type of God we worship. He does not allow you to go hungry or to go empty-handed. As long as you stay with him, he taught them, there was great miracle. Have you ever asked, why is it that these people never felt hungry? Or even if they were feeling hungry and tired, they were able to stay for three days. Oh my God, this is great anointing. You will be wondering, what was Jesus saying? What was they hearing? What were they writing? What type of notes are they taking that they were so caught up that they did not discover or know that for three good days they had been with Jesus without moving, without going anywhere until Jesus said, no, they have stayed with me for three days. It's not good for them to go hungry. Hallelujah. He said, buy food. Let me feed them. And they couldn't buy food. Only one person has food in his basket. A little boy. Food. Hallelujah. And when Jesus was going to feed, he told everybody to sit down. Everybody sat down. 
and he began to share the food one after the other. What is the lesson? That it is turn by turn. Just wait. 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 He did not throw the food in the air and say, who catch it first? Let him eat. Hallelujah. And that is exactly what we practice these days. We practice competition. Oh, the food is about to finish. Everybody will jump in. He said, sit down. Jesus, this kingdom is a kingdom of organization, a kingdom of endurance, a kingdom that teaches you how to be encouraged. Hallelujah. And it's a kingdom of hope. I want you to understand that. And anybody that you are going to relate with, let this virtue be in you. Let this, let, let, let teach the person to have endurance, patience, hallelujah, patience, patience, glory to God, glory to God. Sometimes you see some people who begin to malfunction, hallelujah, even children, hallelujah, things malfunction. Human beings malfunction sometimes. You see them, they begin to malfunction. They will move out of order. All you need is to have patience. So glory to God. Somebody loves you and suddenly doesn't love you again. Somebody is behaving well and suddenly doesn't behave well again. What do you need? You need patience. You need encouragement. You need hope. Just like the Lord have hope on you, that one day you're going to change. It took you 30 years. It took you 40. Some even took you 60 years to turn your life around. To say, oh, oh, this church thing, I accept Jesus now. He was enduring every single thing that was happening. Waiting for you. The same you could pass to one another. With prayers encouragement, word of warning, word of wisdom. You wait, and the Lord will do it. Glory to God. So we're going to pray. We're going to pray. I just have these few words for you to understand that this morning, it is all the way encouragement. Do not be discouraged. Don't have an attitude of discouragement, an attitude of impatience, an attitude of hopelessness towards your neighbor, towards your children, towards anyone around you, even at work. Always encourage them that it soon get well. And eventually, God turn things around in the name of Jesus Christ. Raise your hand wherever you are. Begin to give God the glory. Begin to thank God for what he has done. Hallelujah. Kabosifaya, Manto Libronomo, Zang Shiba Ekaya, Zele Bobosko Farima, Zalam Brato Kobo Zanke Matakai, Zola Shiamo Kampotika, Zafela Bobosko Pramia, in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to decree Holy Ghost five seven times, the blood of Jesus seven times, and we're going to begin to pray, begin to command that every power that pushes you out of the will of God that makes you not to endure, that makes you to lose hope, let those powers be broken this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, decree and pray, Holy Ghost fire, 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 fire, Jesus mighty name, the the blood of Jesus Christ, 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 the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, arise. Let your enemies be scattered. Do not keep silent. Mighty God will begin to blast every power that rob us our hope, every power that deteriorates the, the, the hope that we have, that destroys our patience and encouragement. We strike them now with the blood of Christ. We burn them all by fire. We release the 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 fire. Let me burn up every hand that deteriorates our hope, that snatches away our patience and encouragement. 
we dissolve them right now. We set them on fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Makabu se barini kataya. Jelebobos on petonema sakaya. Yasya motolaba. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every plan of the enemy against our lives this day, against your children, against your workplace, against your car, against your house, against the things that God has given to you to possess, let the power of God crush those plans right now. Yes, the plan of the wicked cannot succeed, cannot be established. In the name of Jesus Christ, we release the fire. We release the fire. We release the fire. We release the fire. Their plan cannot work against our lives. That plan to destroy your family, to destroy your children, to kill them will not work. Yes, there's somebody on this prayer line. You need to pray for your daughter. Yes, pray for your daughter right now. Decree and declare that the enemy cannot trick her. Yes, yes. The enemy cannot seduce her, nor trick her, play tricks on her. Let the power of God crush the powers of Satan right now. The plans against her. Yes. Kavimo Talabas. Yere Pantolobos. Yelia Bronomus. Vake Tampa. Yes, Lord. In Pelugaba. I want us to pray against every spirit of accident. Accident is not your portion. Yes. I cover you with the blood of Christ. I banish every blood-sucking demon, setting themselves on the roadside, trying to create mayhem and confusion, trying to kill and to destroy souls. I suck them. I suck them out of this spiritual zone. I command that the power of God will begin to saturate this zone. No accident, no death. No accident, no death. No accident, no death. No accident, no death. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give God the glory. We give God the praise. Hallelujah. There are two persons on this prayer line. In your workplace, there has been trouble. In fact, you are the target. You are the target because they are planning to just fire you with no reason and and place an allegation on you and fire you. But right now, that has been thwarted. We thwart the plan of the enemy. We crush it. Just place your hand, place your hand, place your hand on your head and begin to decree and declare, I thwart the plan of the enemy. I change it right now. I dissolve and scatter it. It cannot be. It cannot work. In the name of Jesus Christ, Martin Fiamotan de Ribosopa, we give you glory, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. I thank you for these ones. I cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you, I cover your house. No accident, no fire accident. Your children shall go out and come back in peace. You shall go out and come back in peace. I cover the road, I cover the car with the blood of Jesus Christ. I thank you for what you're doing. I give you glory. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want you to place your right hand on your head. If you're feeling any sickness, any symptoms coming on you, as I pray, the pain, whatever sickness it is, God is going to heal you right now. Father, I stand as your oracle this morning and I decree and declare healing upon your people. Healing upon your people. Let the healing power of God saturate the place. Heal them completely. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing. I give you glory and praise. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, heal that pain. Heal that knee pain. Heal that knee pain right now. That pain that is going through the knee. That pain that is going through the back. Heal it completely. That chest palpitation. Yes. 
you, you, you discover that it's like your, your heart appetite is going faster than normal. Mighty God, I resolve that issue right now. Extend your mighty hand of healing upon such soul, upon that lady, upon that man right now. Heal them. Heal them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for hearing me. Thank you, Lord. I cover this spiritual zone and all the families of God around this spiritual zone. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. And I'll see you by this time tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.